Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you what the seed pod and seeds of an insomnia plant looks like. So let's go. Ansonia, also known as Blue Star, is hardy here where I live in New Hampshire Zone 5B. This plant blooms during the early spring months and it has beautiful star-shaped blue flowers on it. It can grow anywhere between 2 to 4 feet in height and it prefers full to part sun conditions. As an added bonus, Ansonia is deer tolerant. When it comes to collecting your seeds, you want to wait until the blossoms have gone by and faded. And what will eventually happen is the plant will produce seed pods. They are elongated seed pods and they start out as a green color. You don't want to collect the seed pods when they're green. You want to wait until the seed pods are more of a tannish brown color. And by the way, I have three cats and when I'm making videos indoors, I'm sure they want to be part of it. My cat that's in this video, her name is Callie. When it comes to sowing the Amsonia seeds, you can do it a number of ways. One way is to sow your seeds indoors. The big thing is Amsonia seeds do require what's called a cold stratification period. So if you are going to sow your seeds indoors, just make sure you're giving them that cold period. And you can do that by taking the seeds and putting them in the refrigerator for a certain period of time. I like to sow a lot of my perennial seeds using what's called the winter sowing method. What I'm going to do for you is down in the description below, I'm going to put a couple of playlists, one with videos that I've made that go over the winter sowing process and another playlist that shows you my process for collecting seeds of different plants, both annuals as well as perennials. If you are going to start your seeds indoors, make sure you soak the seeds for a couple of days because that will benefit and help the seed with germination. The seeds do require light to germinate, so when you do sow them, you just want to press them into the soil. You don't need to cover them with a lot of soil at all. Also, the plant is known to have a very long tap root. So when you do sow your seeds, be it in some sort of a pot or six cell pack, you want to make sure that it's a deep pot, something that's about five to six inches in depth. What you're looking at on the screen are what the Amsonia seeds look like. They're actually quite large in size and I put a US dime there so you can compare the size of the dime next to the seeds themselves. And I want you to notice that they are a brown color. I like to store my seeds in Ziploc bags. Now this Ziploc bag that you're looking at has other seeds in it. But what I'll do with the brand new bag is I will label it with Amsonia and where I collected the seeds from and the year that I collected the seeds. And here's a close up of the seed pod. You can see, in fact, one seed is trying to be released. And it is, it appears green on the screen, but it's actually a greenish, light brown color. And notice that it's already started to open up. And to release the seed, you basically just go like this and they fall right out. It's pretty amazing that each one of these seeds will produce an Amsonia plant. When it comes to storing the seeds, you want to make sure you store them completely dry. Let them dry for at least one week and then you can store them in either a Ziploc bag, a paper bag, an envelope, a jar, whatever you have handy. Just make sure that the seeds are completely dry and store them in a cool, dark, dry location. I've been working really hard to create a library for fellow gardeners as a one-stop place to go to when it comes to collecting seeds as well as starting seeds. So be on the lookout for more videos like this one. And if you are enjoying these seed saving videos, I'd love it if you'd hit the like button because it really helps get my video to other people like yourself who may enjoy this type of content. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. It's free for you, but it also will notify you every time I release a new video. And until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.